let go from every area of offense. I would like you to know that every day in life is full of offense in life. Every day you have people that will offend you in life. You will have people that will disappoint you in life. You will also have people that will betray you wherever, whatever you do. But you will have people that will provoke you in life that will also have people that will hurt you in life. When all this begin to happen in life, what do we do in life? Do you begin to gather them in your mind or what do you do? Or to do, deal with those people or what do you do? Well, but when you do that, you will never be a child of God in life. Because when you have both offense in your heart, when you have both offense in your heart, you will disappoint God in life. Every heart full of offense in life or offenses in life can never retain the spirit of God Almighty. Every heart full of offense or offenses in life can never retain the spirit of God in life. Are you with me? That is why Jesus made the apostle to know that are you with me? Jesus made the apostles both to know it is not possible to live in this world without offenses in life. It is set and purpose for God's children to be enthroned. It is set and plan for God's children to be distracted in life so that their journey with God will never benefit them in life. And that is why Every child of God must know that Satan has a several trick of distracting the children of God in life. One of the major tricks is, one, number one, for you and I to be offended in life. It is very difficult to forgive, but it is only difficult to let go as an offense. Or think you are a child of God, but you can't forgive in life. Are you a child of God wherever you are? Are you born again in Christ? It is very easy to say I'm a born again. Very easy to say I'm a covenant child of God. I'm a child of God. But how is your character in the body of Christ? Do you have a character of God? If you don't have the character of forgiveness, you are not a child of God. You are only confessing to the man, but you are not. To be a child of God is very, very hard in life. When you try to begin to strike yourself because you are offended by one somebody. You will miss it all. But you cannot live a worldly life to be fullness by handling offenses in your heart or hardworking offenses in your heart. When Jesus told the apostle in Luke chapter 17, told them, said, it is impossible for you to live in this world without offenses in life. In verse 5, the apostle made a plea to Jesus Christ. He said, Lord, help our faith. The apostles discover it is difficult to forgive. Only a man, a woman of faith can, can forgive in life. They said to Jesus, help our faith that you might be able to follow. But this principle in life laid down by God for our daily living in Christ. Faith and forgiveness and spiritual tool that strengthen our Christianity. Faith and forgiveness, they are the spiritual tool that strengthen our Christianity. A confession of faith is not just what makes you a child of God, but a practice over you. To confess a faith, it does not make you a child of God, but the practicing of what you confess is what makes you a child of God. The life you live, does it have a character of God in life? Does it have a character? But if it does not, it's a fuck up to in the body of Christ. It's a mess up. Faith and forgiveness is one habit that draws you closer to God every days of your life. Faith and forgiveness is one habit that draws you closer to God every day of your life. Each time anybody offends you, you forgive the person so that you will be forgiven. You are closer to God Almighty. And each time anybody offends you, you say you will never forgive. 
you are separated from, to, from the body of Christ. It's a two option. Are you with me? Remember, you can never live the best of your life until you live the life God wants you to live in life. Until you live according, according to God's instruction in life. Are you with me? You, until you are born of God, these practices are very, very difficult. Until you are born again, but you can't do this. That is why Nicodemus said to Jesus Christ, How? He said things are very, very hard. How can I, a man go to his mother's womb? Jesus said, Yes. The end. He said to follow God is never easy in life. But when you work it out, the future is beneficial in the body of Christ. Somebody shout, let go as an offense in the body of Christ. Are you with me? Let go as an offense in the body of Christ. Let go as an offense in the body of Christ. What are you facing? What challenges are you facing? In every area, what area, what challenges are you facing? Viewers all over the world, what are you facing? In every area, what are you facing? What are you facing? Let me pray for you right now. Let's take the book right now, wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wait, and let me pray for you wherever you are. Let's listen to the book of Psalm 41, verse 45. My enemies speak of evil. Are you with me? Are you with me? I want to pray for you. Psalm 41, verses number 5. My enemies speak an evil of me. When shall he die? And his name will be perished forever. My enemies speak an evil of me. When shall he die? And his name shall be perished. Hear me loud. For the fact that people are happy with you does not mean they like you. For the fact that people are smiling with you, it does not mean they are wishing you good for you. There are people, their mission over your life is to make sure that your life is being perished. Is to make sure that you die before your time. There is that gentleman. Not everybody that smiles with you that loves you in life. There are people that come to your life. Their mission is to see how you will die or turn in. I am here to pray for you. Whoever that is wishing evil for you, it shall by fire, by fire, by thunder. Reke palazite realaze. Anyone, Jehovah, that is wishing evil for you and your household, reke palazete alare. Marike la balaze, tuale zetia. Miabe la kola, marike palazite ria. Moruko le bazia. Anyone wishing evil for you, oh my God. Spirit, help me here. I don't know where you are watching me from. Wherever you are connected from me, and you are connected with people which they don't have good mind for you, but they pretend to you, their mind is to make sure nothing good was where for you. That is their mind. That is their expert. They want to see you suffer. I pray for somebody watching me in the mighty name of Jesus. They are waiting with revive back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. If I hear a man, let your amen be like a fire. Yes, hear me loud and clear. I don't know where you are watching me from. There are people, they smile with you. They are so excited with you. They are so happy with you. They, they, they are mine. They are angry in their mind. Why are you succeeding? Why are you doing well? In their mind, they are not happy. Hear me loud and clear. The Bible said, In the mighty name of Jesus, are you with me? Are you with me? Psalm 41, verse 40. Psalm 41. Are you with me? Are you, are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me in this verse? The book of 41, verse number 5. It says, Your enemy speak an evil of you. When shall he die? And his name will be perished forever. Your enemy speak an evil of you. When shall he die? And his they will be perished forever. Hear me. For the fact that people are happy with you does not mean they like you. For the fact that people smile with you does not mean they wish it good for you. There are people, their mission over your life and your family is to make sure that your life is being perished. Is to make sure you die before your time. Gentlemen and ladies, not everybody that smiles with you that loves you in life. There are people that come to your life, their mission is to see how you will die or turn in. 
I am here to pray for you. Whoever that which is wishing evil for you and your family, it shall by fire by thunder. Anyone that is wishing evil for you and your household, Akula la belu lesia, aruke balazi teria lazi, mule kalazi de ruku polesia, maluke lesia. Anyone wishing evil for you, oh my God, Spirit, help me. I don't know where you are watching from, wherever you are connected from, and you are connected with the people which they don't have good idea for you. They pretend to you, their mind is to make sure nothing good was well for you. That is their plan over you. That is their expectation. They want to choose you so far. I pray for somebody watching me. In the name of Jesus, their wishes will revise back to sin. If I said that, hear that, amen, your case is settled. If I hear amen, your case is settled in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know where you are watching from. And there are people, they smile with you. They are so excited with you. They are so happy with you. But in their mind, it's so very rough. They are angry. Why are you succeeding in life? Why are you doing well in life? In their mind, they are not happy. Hear me loud and clear. The Bible said, who is he to speak a thing and it come to pass in life that I, Jehovah, and have not spoken, I pray for somebody watching me. Anyone who are connected with me, my name is Prophetic Utter. Yet, yeah, every evil witcher over your land, over your settlement, over your destiny, over your job, I decree their blood with by fire, their plan with by fire, those waiting your face to be, those waiting your face to be, those wishing your wishing your face to open the, every demonic casket. Don't wish you every area, Jehovah. Every area, oh Lord Jehovah, that your enemy have been wishing you evil, that they are planning evil to draw you to enter your six feet. Right now, they will be the one that will enter that six feet in the mighty name of Jesus. You will come out in every area in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you are connected right now, wherever you are connected right now, press the button, share 21 times. Share, share, wherever you are. Anywhere you are watching right now, press the button, share 20 times. Wherever you are watching right now, press the button, share 20 times. Press, prophetic is a thunder. Press the button and share 21 times. Press the button, wherever you are right now. I want you, if you are not a follower to this place, as we are coming out across the video, the first thing you should do, just press the button, follow. As you press the button, follow, you are going to be notified whenever I'm alive. This is a prayer that I'm praying for somebody watching me right now. Reke palaze. Malute ke lezia tare. Marur ke lezia. O malu ke lezi te ria la reza. My enemy are wishing me evil. When would I die? And my name will be perry. I pray for everyone watching me right now. If the devil are invaded with an evil sickness, if the devil have put an evil sickness over you, some of you are under blood pressure, some of you are going through a demon, some of you are going through tumor, some of you are going through a demonic doctor, some of you are going through sugar level, some of you are going through diabetes, some of you are under appetite, some of you are under pressure, some of you are under barrenness. Some of you are going through one problem on slow, a pillessy, Lucy to me and clear. I don't care to know the name of the sickness. If you share this video 20 times, between 9 to 20 minutes, let the God of testimony visit you. What a man for you is settled. What if you press the body 20 times, what a man for you it is settled. Between 9 and 20 minutes, let the God of testimony visit you. I don't know who I'm talking to. I am feeling a repression of spirit. Their life is changing here. Life is changing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you watching me right now. I don't know where you are connected from. You that is watching me. I pray for you watching me right now. If, if they put evil plan for you. They set a plan in your marriage. They have been planning to kill you spiritually. They can't get you. But they come in the night. They see fire. When they come in the day, they see class. They have been trying evil plans about you, but they can't succeed. And now, they planning a physical plan. They have set an accident. They have sent people to book evil for you. For 
if I do something evil against you, I pray for you. Any trap they will set for you, it will backfire. If I hear one amen, it will work for you. Any trap they will plan for you, it will backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it will backfire. Maluke laze. There are people, 15,000 people, who are coming across this video. 15,000 people which are coming across this video. I don't know who I'm hearing, but I can't hear the Spirit of God. The Spirit is talking to me. He said, those of you watching me, as your financial life have been tied, those of you watching me, and your life have been, have been handled by the demonic witch, if you press a body sweat 20 times, as this Gideon enter a good, I don't care to know where you are connected to. I speak by authority of God. Let the God of heaven, let the God of testimony settle that battle. If I hear one amen, it is settled. If I hear one amen, it is settled. If I hear one amen, your case is settled. If I hear one amen, it is settled. Spirit, help me here wherever you are. Wherever you are watching me from right now. Wherever you are coming with me right now. Wherever you are following me right now, hear me loud and clear. Press the button, share 20 times. I don't know where you are watching from. I don't know where you are coming with me. I don't know where you are linking up with me. There is some, something stopping your heart. There is something pressing you. You want to see the power of God. You want to see the hand of God. You are lifted, going properly, a situation and not refuse to go. And you are asking yourself question. Father, what is wrong with me? You put your hand this way. Complete the abs area. What is wrong? You set your hand. Things begin for things to be open for you. Things begin to work. You put your hand, you do this, you do that for things to work. But things become normal. Things become the same. But I speak to that situation wherever you are right now. I pray for you. Whoever that's watching at me and something troubling you in the name of Jesus, I decree, let that problem be settled. If I hear one amen, that case is settled. If I hear one amen, Jehovah handle it for you. Spirit, help me. If I hear one amen, I say your case is handled. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are watching me, as put any value there, wherever they have put something over your life, right now you are delivering yourself free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reke palazedi. Maruke tiyalazedi. Kalai me resist to lay. Yes, Lord. Whosoever that plan evil against you, I revise that evil. Back to send that. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I use the power of prophecy to destroy every affliction, challenges. They are planned against you. Be disorganized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak prophetically unto you. Wherever you are connected from right now, I speak every negativity whatever they are planning against you right now in the mighty name of jesus let the power of the holy ghost destroy every affliction in the mighty name of jesus i destroy all plans of the enemy every power that is not of god that i'm holding you burn in every area let them be destroyed let them be destroyed let them be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ let them be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ holy ghost let your will be done over every area, every situation. Your enemy, he said, your enemy have planned. He said, my enemy have planned evil against, against you. Wherever they have planned evil, wherever they have planned affliction, right now I command that every challenge, right now let them go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen attentively. He said, your enemy have planned evil. He said, your enemy have planned evil against you, whoever, the book of Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 41, verse 5, he said, your enemy have witched you evil, whoever that have witched you evil, that have been holding you bound, that have witched you evil, which you affliction, let every affliction revise back to sender. I don't know where you are watching me, my this channel. I don't know where you are watching this broker. Every area you are connected from, that you are connected to this channel, all affliction, every challenges that the enemy have wishes you, that they have planned against your life, your home. Remember, according to the book of number, according to the book of number 14, verse 9, he said, Your enemy, like they are like bread right now. Whoever that is pretending, that is pretending like as a best of 
the bed that is drying, that is planning evil negativity to drag it to enter a system right now and reverse every evil, every challenges right now, every piece of the hair, whatever they are planning against you and your household, right now I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I revise them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every yoke in your life, every yoke in your children, let every yoke in your children right now be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every challenge is all affliction, every ikubus, was so any challenges that the enemy are blind. Remember that he said your enemy have planned evil. Your unfriendly friend that have been moving with you, according to the book of Psalm 41 verse 5, he said, who is that your enemy that is wishing you evil, wishing you affliction? Remember, according to the book of number 14 verse 9, he said, your enemy, they are like bread. I speak prophetically unto you, for I believe in nature, I work with nature. For the right hand of God, there is power. I speak and I revise every enchantment back to sender. Every affliction go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for your for your restoration, for your mercy, for your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Viewers, we have come to our end of this segment of this broadcast. This is Prophetic Author. For more inquiry, plus 3360559824. I repeat, plus 3360559824. Remember, bless. Bye for now. Please always subscribe to this my YouTube channel. Prophetic author, follow this, the great Asomoriri, the Ole Jamborima. Follow this page, follow this channel. Here is a spiritual team. Here is a channel whereby we share our tips. We rub my together. It's a prophetic channel whereby we use things of God to fight every challenges, every affliction you have been facing. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow this page. As you do that, your life will never remain the same. Bye for now.